Hi, J247. I thought um, we would do something different today. Um, so we're in my garden and we're going to do some science experiments to um, just illustrate God's gifts to us. Um, so I really want us to think back um, to about four weeks ago and we looked at a scripture or I gave you a challenge actually for a memory verse for this scripture um, from 1 John and um, it talks about he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. Um, that was a verse that I challenged you right at the beginning of this lockdown and our streaming sessions online for you to remember and, and to look up and to find. Um, and so we're going to think back to that scripture today and think actually, he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. So what is inside of us is so much bigger and faster than what is in the world, okay? And I really want us to kind of focus today um, that God is the one who reigns. Um, he is the one who is in control, although we might feel quite small. Um, as children, we're, we're shorter than our grown-ups. We might feel a bit small inside. We might be shy. We might feel a bit um, timid and not so outgoing as maybe some of our friends but what is inside of us is so much vaster than what we see going on outside of us um, in the world the way our friends act and um, what people say to us because actually we were made by God the Creator so um, I have some water here and I'm going to do two experiments for you today so I want us to think um, I'm going to go with this one first, okay, so this is a glass of water, it's about three quarters away full and I want you to imagine that the water in the glass is the world, okay, it's everything you see going on outside, around you, outside, what people say to you, pe the way people act that aren't Christians, um, when you're at school, everything that's going on, um, you might hear this stuff on the news or in the paper, is the water, okay. So what do you think is going to happen if I tip over my glass of water do you think it might spill all over the floor and I'm gonna make a really big mess um, probably all over my shoes you know um, wet feet or what do you think will happen if I place this piece of cardboard on it and then I'm gonna tip it over okay so let's see if this works oh, I'm a little bit nervous so cardboard on top of the water I'm going to tip the glass over Ta -da! and the water is still in the glass. And now, for the next step, <laughs> I'm really quite nervous now, I am going to let go of the cardboard and it stays there, look a bit wobbly, but it's staying there. The reason this experiment works is because of air pressure. Even though it doesn't feel like it, air around us is pushing in all directions, okay? And the air pushing up, so let's try this again, Oh, the air pushing, oh, please stay. The air pushing up is stronger keeping the cardboard fixed than the air pushing the water down, okay? So, air is really powerful, okay? Now you are filled, let's put that down there. You are filled with the breath of God, okay? That is inside of you. Um, air may look quite small, it's invisible, um, it might look less, it may seem weak, but it is much more powerful than sometimes we realize. And often, I think air, we just, we might not really consider or, or think about because we just take it for granted. We're breathing naturally all the time. But I think when we start to think about our words and how powerful our words can be, um, it reminds us of the breath of God, okay? In 1 Timothy 3, it talks about how all scripture is God-breathed. Breath is powerful. God breathed life into Adam and Eve. He breathed life into us, okay? So, I'm gonna do another experiment. Oh, I'm quite nervous all this water. I'm gonna roll my sleeves up for this one. Okay, so this one is another glass and I have a paper towel in the bottom of my glass here, okay? Um, and I'm gonna put this paper towel um, into this basin of water and hopefully our experiment is gonna work and you're gonna see something quite clever. Okay, so upside down, off we go. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you think the paper towel will get really wet? That's a good question. Do you think the paper towel will come out of my glass and be separate in the water? Hmm. Hopefully you'll be able to see because we've got a clear basin and we're gonna go all the way down. 
and it's right on the bottom I'm pushing the glass down and I'm holding it there and we're going to see again what air has managed to do in this experiment so now if I lift the glass out drip 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 just wipe that around there so you can see wipe that on my trousers look get my that all wet but actually the glass got wet but the paper towel inside is completely dry didn't get wet at all now this is because the air around the paper towel um, in the glass pushes the water away so again air and there wasn't our glasses are quite small and the towel took up quite a lot of room didn't it so we only got maybe half a glass there of air but that much air pushed all of the water away and protected the towel okay so again if you think of the water being the world um, and how the air is is the force against the water this time it was protecting the towel air is powerful and not a force to be messed with okay God is powerful and not a force to be messed with he is our protector he is our savior he is our redeemer he is our grace he is our strength and he is our joy every single day what is inside you is greater than what is in the world and what is inside you is so powerful the breath of God the breath of God inside you that can bring power in your words can bring life into people other people's lives by the way you speak by the way you act the breath of God guys is something I really want you to to think about to ponder about this week um, and we'll come back to you again um, in our zoom meeting on Friday and next Sunday and just see how you felt about really contemplating and thinking about the breath of God and try these science experiments at home they were great fun to do this one took me a couple of attempts to get right and this one made me very nervous every time I did it. Elizabeth tried it earlier and there was water all over the floor. But, you know, have a go. Do it over your kitchen sink. All these things you can find at home and have a play. Great to talk to you again, J247. We'll see you next week. Bye.